right foot. No, one second. Two. Sorry? I can't work with them like this. Oh! I think you should put your shoe back on. Do you think? I do. I usually see Dr Woodson. Dr Woodson? Yeah, or is she at the mill? I would have gone there, but it's nearer here. I'm sorry, she doesn't work here anymore. Why not? I don't know. Are you registered with us? Yeah, I used to be. And you've not seen any other doctors? No, no, I've been OK. You haven't been to the doctors in...? Seven years, but I've been OK. But now my feet are swollen, I can hardly get my shoes back on. Is it back on? Almost. Good. Um, what's your name, please? Yeah, uh, Ray Glossop. G-L-O-S-S-O-P, like the town. OK. Um, would you mind taking a seat and wait for me there? I'll be two ticks. Yeah, yeah, OK. OK. Fifteen Harbour Gardens, Leatherbridge, B872LA. And is the phone number the same? Yeah, 0121 496 0030. That's a lot of zeros. Yeah. People say oh sometimes when they mean zero. They do, don't they? Yeah. Have you got a mobile number? My own phone. No, no, no. That, that's my mum and dad's number, but I'm not staying there. Oh, well, you know, where are you staying? Oh, I'm in my caravan. I'm working on the roads, you see. You know, rendering them, resurfacing, filling. Oh, wow. Then it must be nice to be back. Have you seen your mum and dad? No, no, I, I've got a new family now. I've got my old caravan, I've got food, and, and I'm going to get some new boots. Mr Everly says that I can't, but Dale says that... All right. You haven't done anything wrong? No, 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 this is Rob. He's my husband. He just wants to have a word with you. I've only come about my feet. I know, I know. It's OK. We just want to check that you're all right. I I'm going to go now. Oh, no, no. What about your feet? Well, you should have thought about that before you told on me. All oh, right. No, don't. Are you not going to stop him? Yeah. How'd you find me? Well, you said you lived in a caravan and I knew you couldn't walk far. I got biscuits. Where? says I'm not allowed to talk about business. Is he your boss, Dale? Mm. Well, he organises his jobs. So it was him who wanted to get your feet done? Mm. He's going to get me some new boots. Ah, well then why don't you come back to the campus? So you can bring me mum and dad. No, so you can get your feet done. Though, now you mention it, why don't you get in touch with him? No, 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 Dale's more of a dad to me than my dad ever was. I wouldn't have all this if it weren't for Dale. Mm. That's the best one there. It's got a, a, a five-teeth bucket, you see. It's good for loading and for scoring the asphalt. It gives the bitumen something to, to bind to, you see. And then the bitumen can plasticise. Oh, that's been great, getting paid for something that you love doing. Yeah, I would get me caravan and, and food. You do get paid, don't you? Yeah, and boots. I'm going to get waterproof ones, Dale says. Open up. Why'd you lock it? Uh, I, I don't know. Who's this? Karen Hollins from the campus surgery. I, I went to get my feet done. I told you to stay in. Yeah, I know, but if I'm going I to get some... I told you to stay in. I'm sorry. He needs his feet seen to. I think you better leave. So what did she really want? She wants me to see me mum and dad. Her husband's a policeman. 
I didn't say anything to him. Did I do wrong? Nah. Nothing wrong at all. It's all good. It's me. Open up. Do you want a biscuit? Yeah, go on then. Karen brought. Did she? Yeah. Where's Mum? She couldn't make it. Is she still at home then? No. Where is she? Australia. On holiday? She lives there. Without you? Yeah. Well, 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 we'll have to go see her. No, I don't think she wants to see me. I'll go on my own, then. No, you can't go on your own. I'll go with Dale. I, I can't, mate. I've got to go away. Go away? Dale Everly. See my dad. <laughs> Mr Everly, we need to talk. <laughs> Day Leverley. Yeah. Do you mind stepping outside, please, sir? I'm arresting you on suspicion of false imprisonment. In prison? He got in prison? We picked up your father in Birmingham yesterday. He's already been charged. Like I said, I've got to go and see my dad. It's time for you to stay with yours. Can we come and see you? I don't know where I'm going to be. You can phone us and tell us, can't you? You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you don't mention one question, something you later rely on in court, anything you do say may be given in. So, John, plans? We'll phone Australia. Talk to your mum. No, no, I, I, I don't want to phone. I want to go and see her. You can phone her on the computer, that way you can see her at the same time. What about Dale and Mr Everly? Can we see them too? If that's what you want to do. Yeah, that, that, that's what I want to do. Come on, Ray, let's get your feet sorted. Have you got a coat? Trench foot. Oh! I thought it went out with the First World War. <laughs> it went out and came back again. We'll get him a new pair of boots. Uh, and then I'm going to go work with me dad. Oh. He drives a digger. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. We we'll both need all the work we can get now. It's not cheap getting to Australia. <laughs> Next, here on BBC One, Matt Allwright's rejoined by Rini.